Hello, I'm Zach Jacobs, and this is Will Mannering. Before we go any further, I'd just like to say, welcome back. All of us at Grammar TV hope you had an enjoyable holidays. School is in full swing, and already it's shaping up to be an excellent year. Speaking of which, let's jump right into the first episode of 2018. Hi, I'm Caroline Adkins. I'm Lucy Hart. I'm Lauren Shore. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Grammar TV. TV. Today's first story covers a brief encounter with Grammar's 20th Headmaster. For those not yet acquainted with this new face or at his commissioning, prepare yourselves to meet our new headmaster, Mr. Richard Ford. With the holidays coming to an end, 2018 has brought many new changes to the grammar community. The biggest being our new headmaster, Mr. Richard Ford. Mr. Ford is Launceston Church Grammar School's 20th headmaster following the great Mr. Norris. Richard was previously acting as the deputy head at St Andrews Cathedral School in Sydney. Now Mr Ford lives with his wife and three children in Launceston while serving at LCGS. We spoke to the newly appointed headmaster at school on Monday. When I first heard about uh, grammar, it was actually from an alumni who'd been to the school and they shared with me how much they loved their time at the school. I've worked in three other schools and uh, in some ways, grammar's uh, similar, uh, but also different. But uh, just the, the opportunities here and the beauty of grammar and this location is just, uh, it's breathtaking. Mr. Ford's inauguration ceremony was held at St. John's Cathedral earlier this week. It's an immense privilege to be entrusted with the responsibility of nurturing this great school. From all the students, teachers and members of the school community, we welcome our new headmaster. Now that we're all better acquainted with Mr Ford, we extend a warm welcome to him and look forward to his contribution to this great school. On a less serious note, Callum thinks he's pretty funny and is continuing last year's segment, Dadliest Jokes, but now in a slightly different format. Take it away, Callum. Grandma TV is Try Not To Laugh Dadliest Jokes edition pits two contenders against each other to make the other laugh with the hilariously cringy jokes we found on the web. Two goldfish are in a tank. One says to the other, do you know how to drive this thing? Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? Great food, no atmosphere. Got <laughs> it! I would avoid the sushi if I was you. It's a little fishy. <laughs> Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? It's finally woke up. <laughs> I don't even understand that one. <laughs> I'll call you later. Don't call me later, call me dad. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so bad. I skipped like a couple here, I don't know which ones to do. <laughs> Those sure were some dad worthy jerks. Truly dadly indeed. Moving on now, our next story introduces us to one of the new teachers around the campus. Every year there is an influx of new teachers arriving at the school. This is part one of the GTV teacher feature, in which Ben Cox interviews the new sports coordinator, Mr Finch. With the new arrival of sport coordinator, Mr Finch, we interviewed him to ask what he has in store for sport at Grammar. Uh, I haven't been, haven't been here quite long enough to, to sort of know the ins and outs of how it's actually operating, um, but uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty big on uh, opportunities, making sure the students have got opportunities for, to participate at, a, at a, as high a level as possible, but, but um, to, do, to do things that they haven't probably had an opportunity to do before. But it's other things such as tours, uh, making sure that we're, we're providing the best coaches as we can for our sport teams and, and, uh, and experiencing some success uh, at whatever grade, whatever level of sport, first, seconds, whatever it might be. So. Mr Finch reflects on what brought him back to grammar. It's a great school, obviously we're pretty lucky obviously to be here, you guys as students and myself coming through here, so really um, to give back to the school, to be involved in the school again, uh, and assist in any way, you know, with obviously my sport program, but phys ed teaching, it's something I enjoy back at school, so having that opportunity to be back here is, is great. I've obviously been down in Hobart for 12 years, so to, to be able to come back up and, and, and have an opportunity uh, present at Grammar, to do what I love doing, um, yeah, it would be silly not to take it. What's the opposite of rounded? Thanks to Ben Cox for that story. 
A warm welcome to Mr. Finch. We're glad to have you here. Moving right along, we have Ben, who decided to go backstage behind the production and put us in the know. With this year's production all shook up drawing closer, we call up Mrs. Hedges, the producer, and Connell Cassidy and Mahalan Barrett, the lead actors, to see their thoughts on this year's show. Well, I think the best part of All Shook Up is the elements of humour that are involved. It's actually quite funny. Every, for most scenes, of somebody falling in love with somebody else and the same songs played every time that that happens and I think the audience will begin to respond to that. And yeah, well, I think it's a funny show. I'm looking forward to musical numbers are shaken up to be something pretty special. So, I think that'll be really good. Uh, we all kind of just get into it, give it a go. Everyone's been pretty confident so far. So. Yeah, I suppose. As you can see, everyone is really excited for this year's show. Tick's already on sale, so get along to it. Well, they're certainly looking forward to a great night. I'm in what's not to enjoy. Tickets are already on sale. May 16th, 17th and 18th are going to be an awesome three nights. That brings us to the end of this episode. But don't forget to like, share and subscribe to support us here at Grammar TV. And hit the bell button to stay in the know when we upload. There are plenty more exciting things to keep track of over the course of 2018, and if you would like to contribute or have any suggestions for future stories, let us know. See you next time.